Hi friends, I'm Papa Joe and welcome to a new Call of Duty mobile video on my channel. After uploading some videos with information for the upcoming season on my channel several days ago, in this video we take a look at more information like the release date as well as new free rewards in Call of Duty Mobile. Be sure to subscribe to me and activate the bell for daily COD Mobile content. As always, let's jump right into the video. We start the video with some information about the release date of the new Season 5 in Call of Duty Mobile. Although an exact release date for COD Mobile Season 5 has not been confirmed yet, we can make an educated guess based on previous trends along with the current Battle Pass end date as to when Season 5 will roll out. This is because the current Season 4 Battle Pass expires on Thursday, June 2nd. As always, new seasons start immediately after that which is why I can well imagine that the new Season 5 will be released on June 2nd or 3. However, there is a possibility that unexpected delays could stop these plans at any time. So if I know any new information about this I will keep you updated in a separate video. Feel free to let me know what you think about it in the comments. After we have discussed the release date of Season 5 we will now take a look at the new weapons that might be added to the new Season 5 and orient ourselves on the test server content for Season 5 and 6. On the one hand we can probably look forward to the powerful load and assault rifle which was discovered in the current test server and is known from Warzone and Modern Warfare. The Odin is a VLK bullpup assault rifle and can kill in two shots out to 40 meters if at least one shot hits the head or chest. The Odin's chest damage multiplier is slightly higher than the FAL, so one chest shot followed by a shot anywhere else will kill. Even at long range, the Odin will only need three shots to kill. In hardcore, the gun will be a one-shot kill at all ranges. This high damage comes with a low fire rate of 435 RPM, the slowest of any assault rifle. The gun will kill quickly in 2-3 shots, but missing shots is more punishing than with most other weapons in its class. The reload speed is also somewhat slow and the 20 round magazine can be depleted often if fired too recklessly. Additionally, move speed is mediocre compared to other assault rifles. Recoil is fairly heavy with each shot having a noticeable vertical bounce. Shooting over longer distances will often require single shots or small bursts instead of fully automatic fire. Fittingly, a new Mythicode and skin has already been found in the test server files which means that we can welcome a new Mythic skin for the next season. I would love to hear your opinion on the new assault rifle and look forward to every single comment from you. Thanks. Besides that, two more weapons have been discovered in the test server which might come in Season 6. The first one is the powerful KSP-45 SMG which is known from Black Ops Cold War. Also, the unique LKAR-9 pistol was discovered and I personally am very excited about this new pistol in COD Mobile. By the way, a legendary skin has been discovered for each of these two new weapons, a legendary skin for the KSP-45 SMG called Colossus and a legendary skin for the LKAR-9 pistol called Seiko. Be aware that the names of the weapons may change over time. Now we take a look at the new upcoming multiplayer map, which was not included in the test server update, but was confirmed by the developers in a teaser. A few days ago, the developers published the first Season 5 teaser on their social networks and thus we know the new map that will appear in the new season. On the picture you can already see some details and most likely we will see a jungle-like theme in the new season. The map on the picture is none other than the well-known Apocalypse multiplayer map from Black Ops Cold War. Welcome to the Lao Jungle Cartel base in the heart of the Golden Triangle Apocalypse. As Perseus forces are rumored to be hiding key intel in their stronghold in Laos, the CIA's finest approach the village ready to extract any evidence they can on the Nova 6 supply Linea Broken Bar and Adler's whereabouts. This small to medium sized map is built for aggressive operators, funneling action under stilted buildings and through the temple fortress. 
give chase to the enemy through the buildings and temple, making sure not to be too distracted from the glint of gold being loaded into the trucks on the main road. Feel free to write me your opinion about the new multiplayer map in the comments section. Last but not least, I would like to share with you some information that might be relevant for the upcoming Season 5 Battle Pass. In the test server files, besides the new Mythic Odin skin, Legendary Weapon skins and a Legendary Character skin, a lot of Epic Weapon blueprints have been discovered which will be added to Call of Duty Mobile for the next two seasons. As we already know, the new Odin Assault Rifle will most likely be introduced in Season 5 and fittingly. An epic weapon blueprint named Shark has already been found in the in-game files which will most likely be in the new battle pass. Also, some assume that the following weapon skins will be included in the next BP due to the possible jungle theme, we are talking about the epic BKM skin called Parrot and the epic MSMC Magical Forest skin. If anything changes I will inform you immediately. Do you think that these new skins will be included in the next battle pass? Write it in the comments section. Nine months ago new character skins were discovered in the in-game files of Alien Gamer and due to the fact that the new Season 5 will deal with the jungle theme it is possible that the following character skin will appear in the new season. We are talking about the epic ghost character and his jungle uniform. What do you think about it? Write me your opinion about it in the comments. Now we come to the new free rewards which were released several hours ago and start with the first free reward. In the new Steadfast Warrior event, the rest of the rewards have been released and you can already pick up the epic PP19 Bison Gold Grinder skin. Also, the Armory Raid event was released in which you have to choose between different rewards and items which you can then get in a lucky draw by completing tasks. Since I already own the Adler and the Nikolai character skin I decided to get the Sid character skin. How did you decide? Write it in the comments. And that's it for the video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. If so, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell. Don't forget to check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you so much.